Hello, welcome back to another Creative Tab tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to navigate node graphs and what node graphs are, how they work, and I'm going to try and explain this in terms that After Effects users might kind of understand a bit more clearly. Um, so let's kind of dive on in, right? Basically, a node graph, you can see my node graph tab here, it's, if we zoom in, it's essentially um, individual little tools you can use to basically build up your shot. Now, that may not, at first, make a lot of sense. Um, so what we've got, and what you'll always have when you open, is you have something called a viewer. If you don't have a viewer, and you can't find this little thing by here, all you need to do is go to viewer, new comp viewer, and boom, we've got another one. But I don't want viewer 2, I'm just going to delete it. So click on it and delete. Now you'll notice you've got this little, this is called a pipe, okay? All these all these lines and arrows by here, these, these are called pipes. So with viewer 1, this is essentially whatever you connect to viewer 1, you will be able to see in the viewer up here. So you can see viewer 1, viewer 1. Whatever you link this to, you'll be able to see here. So at the top of our stream, okay, this whole node, this is called a node graph, but this is also called a stream where the data falls down because normally we view right at the bottom. So this is where we start and we work downstream and we'll view at the bottom. So you can see that my viewer has got the number one on it. All I'm doing to move around, by the way, is I'm using my scroll wheel to go in and out and middle mouse click my scroll wheel to move around. Also, I can hit F on the keyboard and it'll just frame everything. Again, if I zoom in, you've got a little navigation window down here so you can kind of move around like that. But after a little bit of practice, you'll get used to using the middle mouse click to kind of move around and stuff like that. You can also alt click and you can move around as well. And yeah, so basically our viewer by here got number one on it. If I select this top node, this is called a read node, and it's basically reading my footage in. If I hit one on the keyboard, you'll see that because this viewer's got one, it'll literally hook up, okay? So again, all I did, let's make it a little bit more visible. Let's disconnect that. I click this node and I hit one because I want to view that. I want my viewer to link up to it. So it's got this number one by here. Basically then, in my viewer, I can just scrub through and I can have a look at this piece of footage. So this is what I brought in. Okay, um, I'm not going to go through all of the nodes. I will in other sections and lessons, of course I will. But I just want to let you know how it's working. So for example, this remove alpha, I'm not, I'm not going to explain why that's there or what it's doing. What I want you to understand, right, in terms of After Effects, if I view this at the bottom first, actually, um, so this is our right node, it's where I exported my final shot. I can also, so Pipe 1 is hooked up to the footage, okay? If I select this node and hit 2, you'll see we got a second one, okay? Now you may think that's a bit weird, we've got 2 coming off, but now what I can do is I can flick between 1 and 2 on my keyboard, and I can see, essentially, the before and after. So I'm viewing here at the bottom of the stream with number 2, so you can see this is the footage, but all these changes have happened to the footage, and we come to the bottom, and this is the change has happened. If we hit one, we're viewing our original footage again. So that's just a nice way of kind of going between the two. Okay. Um, so let's connect our viewer up just via number one, just to the bottom. So we know, because we've looked at the footage, that this isn't what the footage originally looked like. What I want to go through is talk about this in terms of layers. So in After Effects, you see a composition window up here, and you'd see your timeline along the bottom with all your layers. What I want you to know is the, the data from the image is being passed all the way down these little pipes. Imagine it like data being passed along these pipes and it comes to the bottom here, where we're viewing right at the bottom. However, you can see that there's also things coming in from the left and coming in from the left by here and also from the right at the bottom, but don't worry too much about that right now. What I want you to kind of get in your heads, guys, is where you see in Nuke, right, we use our B pipe as our background and we, we're putting things on top. So essentially, this stuff that you see by here, this stuff is getting, this is a merge node, it's getting put on top. So let's, um, if we hook, for example, our viewer up to here, this is where the footage is coming in. If we now put our viewer to here, 
you can see that it's changed. Essentially, what's happening between these two points is imagine this stuff by here as one single layer that you're putting on top of your footage. That's all that's going on, okay? So we've got, think of it in After Effects, our footage layer right at the bottom. Even though it's at the top here, it just works back to front. We've got our footage layer right at the bottom, and then we've put a sign replacement layer on top. And that's all that's happening. We're putting stuff on top. Now, if we're thinking of this as a single layer, all these things like invert, um, blur, grade, transform, that's basically how you move it. All these little individual nodes here, these are individual effects, or they're actually tools, but they're, think of it in After Effects, they're effects which you put on a single layer. So, again, view the footage up here. This is the footage as it comes in. It's just got this little extra node, but just ignore that, okay, don't worry. So, this is our footage layer that we've imported, and again, all we're doing is we've copied all of this data, all of these effects, on top of our layer, okay? On top of our original footage layer. So that's kind of putting it in After Effects terms. Think of all this, it's being copied on top. So then we've also got another one down here. If we come to a roundabout by here where we can see this guy, um, I've labeled that a sign replacement because we know all that's happening there is we're replacing the sign. And these are all the individual effects that you can apply to a solid in after in After Effects, yeah. Come down to our next one, the next instance of copying something across, and we've had this little change by here. So if you look by here, if we go between the two, so I've, I'll one and two, okay, what you'll see is we're just getting rid of that guy. And I've labeled this people removal. So what I want you to think here again is we've got our, just think of it in terms of layers, our footage layer. On top, we've got a sign replacement layer with all these effects, but they're actually nodes within Nuke. Then we've got our third layer on top, and it's this people removal, okay? Within this, there's a load of individual effects which you can put on layers. Essentially, that's how node graphs work, all right? So, just to go into a little bit more detail, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm very quickly just gonna relink this up. Don't, kind of ignore what I'm doing for now, okay? I want you to ignore this node, this purple node by here. Just imagine that doesn't exist, okay? What I'm doing is this footage, right? If I view, so hit one, if I view it by here, what's happening by here is I put little dots. So the information of this footage, when it gets to this dot, is gonna get split left and right, okay? So if we view this dot, it's basically a way of passaging it through. So if we come around here, we're still actually viewing if we follow this back up, we're still actually only viewing our footage when we come down to here. And now, as soon as we get into this little bit, this is our first tool or node, we're actually, there's stuff going on in here which I'm not going to go into. But the only reason that this, we're viewing this blank sign by here is because I've done, in, I've done stuff within this node, within this tool. But if we disconnect this, you can see that nothing's happening now in the view because this isn't connected to any footage. So... All we're doing is whatever I've done to pa basically paint out. It's like, it's like a little clone stamp, if you know Photoshop or anything like that. I've clone stamped out the text, okay? Um, but that's only able to take effect because it's connected all the way back up via these little corners and stuff to this piece of footage by here. And then we frame hold and, you know, we do other stuff. And essentially, again, you can see that I've now generated through these three tools, or think of it After Effects, these three effects, or four. <laughs> if we disconnect, there's nothing there because it needs this footage. So this, fo this footage is getting piped down all the way, and then we're making adjustments. Okay, so let's go right to the end. Um, we've got this text. So I've blurred the text, and then I've merged this. So we've got our blank sign by here we've got our text which has been blurred and i've merged this on top so basically placed a on top of b and you can see actually a on top of b so it's literally like putting a layer on top of another layer we're doing the same thing here then i've got something else I've, i'm grading I, i've used a grade node i've used the alpha from these and i've basically I'm not going to go into the ins and outs because that's going to get too complicated i've added some more stuff into the stream um, I've corner pinned it to alter the perspective. I've done a little crop. And then if we view here, this is what we, we're basically putting A. So this all here is collective 
A on top of B. This is our B stream. We're putting A on top of B. That's how nuke works, and that's the simplest form of node trees, really. So now if I view here, we can see that information from A has been put on top of B, okay, to cover up that reception block D and E. Um, so that's essentially what's happening. Again, if we come to here, you'll see that I've removed, so the footage is getting, again, piped all the way down. I make some adjustments, okay, frame hold it, do a little cutout, transform it to match up and match move it, which is tracking, won't go into it now. And yeah, so then we've got this, and we're putting this information, so this also moves as well. So we've got an animated thing over here. So we're putting A over B to get rid of this guy, okay? And that's all that's happening, okay? I won't go into what's happening by here. It's a little bit a little bit more stuff, but I don't want to kind of, um, yeah, I don't want to confuse things. So yeah, these little dots, if you hold control on your keyboard, you can click and drag to make more dots. So something like this. So control and click. Now, I haven't actually done anything here. All I've done is the footage is still coming down, but I've just added a few more corners in it, okay? So I can delete them, and it doesn't make a world of difference. But essentially, this whole A over B process is exactly how Nuke works. The information here, A, is getting put on top of B, and that's literally the same as putting a layer on top of some footage in After Effects with some effects, or in this case, nodes. Okay, so that's basically how it works. Um, I hope that kind of did make some sense to you guys. Um, leave a comment of what else you would like to see, what more content you want me to publish. Um, but yeah, cheers for tuning in, and thank you very much. <laughs>